cassava is lacking in micronutrients. Um, it is micronutrient deficient, that is iron, uh, vitamin E and zinc. And then it's also protein deficient. So in case of cassava, scientists are developing a cassava variety that will deliver nutrients, the micronutrients, iron, vitamin E and zinc, and also protein. Because in those areas, that cassava is their staple food. The poor ones in the villages cannot afford animal protein. It is expensive. Most of them don't eat meat. They don't eat egg. And so their diet is dependent on cassava. Cassava as breakfast, cassava as lunch, cassava as dinner without meat, you could imagine. So most of the children between the ages of one to four end up having stunted growth. But here we are today, biotechnology is a tool that could be used by the farmer. We are able to come up with cassava planting materials. Then we have the BT cowpea and that's beans. But cowpea's problem is insects. There's this in insect, notorious insect called maruka. Maruka damages the crop during the flowering stage. And most of it, I think about 80% loss is being incurred by the farmers. But all I know is that um, the farmers have been interested. They've shown their interest and they always have asked us, where are the seeds? Where are the seeds? When can we have the seeds? The farmers cannot wait to plant these seeds. They are waiting. And so, but now, with the Biosafety Act in place in Nigeria, um, the farmers, at least in two years' time, will have access to the seeds and their lives will be improved.